Fight Club, Fight Club, Fight Club. If you haven't figured it out yet, you are watching Fight Club. I'm your host, Jam Moeth, and today we have another player's interview on Flight Club. It's with Giuseppe Dutois. Giuseppe, welcome back to the show. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. I've got to first start off by congratulating you on being re-signed by the Arrows. Giuseppe, you've been with the team since 2019. You've been a veteran for a, quite a while. How does it feel to continue your pro career in the MLR with the Toronto Arrows? Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Toronto has become a very special place to me um, in terms of specifically just the, the people and, and the culture and, and the sort of vision that we have as an organization. And it's something that I've gotten behind. Um, so I'm very excited to sort of continue on on another year of, of this journey. Absolutely. I definitely think, Giuseppe, to say that you have a, you know, a special bond with Toronto um, is more than accurate. I mean, you had 1,000 carry meters last year, 11 tackle breaks, 10 line breaks. Uh, so to have you back within the back line is a plus for sure. But uh, last off season, uh, Giuseppe, you had the chance to go see some of the beautiful national parks around North America with you and your friends and uh, teammates as well. Just tell us how important is a break away from the field to an athlete to help prepare themselves for the next season? Yeah, the, the break away from the, the environment is invaluable to sort of just refreshing your your body specifically, but, but more importantly, your mind in prepping for another long, arduous season when we spend so much time together as a group in Atlanta. Um, so it's a great way to sort of reset and build anticipation for the season in 2022. It definitely seemed like a fun holiday. I mean, I don't know how you guys could handle the heat, but I'm sure you guys had a lot of sunscreen with you to help you out through that. But Giuseppe, you're not 26. You've captained the Arrows. You've played for Canada. You're a veteran in the squad. Is there something personally that you would like to achieve next season and something that you'd like to achieve with the team? After the, the 21 season, we sort of reevaluated what our team culture was, be, what our values was going to be. And, and I think sort of setting that foundation for the future arrows um, in the coming years and just for any new players coming into the environment that they know specifically what's expected of them and how we go about things is something that I'd really like for the group to achieve, but also just, just for myself in, in those sort of roles of getting guys on board and, and getting them sped up on how we operate and how we want to win with the arrows. Well, it's great, Giuseppe, that you say that culture within the locker room is of utmost importance for you guys. And we can see that not only in the way you guys play, but in the way you guys train together. Giuseppe, thank you so much for taking the time to answer a few of our questions. Congratulations once again on being re-signed by the Arrows. I can speak on behalf of the rest of the Arrows faithful that it's going to be great to see you in the centers again. Thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for speaking to me. Arrows up. Arrows up.